Hello folks, so this is again a question of the wave from 2018, uh, May, June, paper 1-1, and the question number is 22. So uh, it says that a longitudinal wave has vibrations parallel to the direction of transfer of energy, of energy by the wave. So if you look at the diagram, what it says is, uh, this shows the distance from the source. So that means the source is somewhere here, somewhere here, and uh, this is the distance from the source. The wave can be represented on a graph showing the variation of the displacement of the particles with distance from the source. So one thing to remember is, one thing to remember is, uh, though the wave might be, uh, might be uh, longitudinal or it might be transverse, its uh, graph along with the displacement, uh, the graph of the displacement uh, along with time or distance from the source ca can be represented in the form of a sine wave. It's because the oscillation of the particles uh, of the particles uh, will be uh, simple harmonic. So when we say simple harmonic, definitely it will be a, a sine wave or a cosine wave. So it's the same thing here, a sine wave here. So we have to find which point on the graph is the center of a compression. So among A, B, C and D, which point of the graph represents the center of the compression? So first what we have to find is, so... Let me say the source is over here. The source is over here. And from here, the waves are going because it says uh, this is the distance from the source. So that means the energy is going in this direction. So let me let me just uh, uh, draw this point over here. So it's a point B. So what's happening at A is, uh, what's happening at A is, at point A, the particles are having displacement away from the source. At particle A, at uh, for particle A, for particle A, the they are having a displacement away from the source, a displacement away from the source, and that's maximum. So that means their displacement right now is like this. Their displacement right now is like this for particle A, away from the source. And the particle C here, particle C here, what are happening to them is they are having negative displacement, negative displacement. So that means they are having a displacement towards the source to the source. So this is the source. This is the source. So they are having displacement, maximum displacement away from the source. They are having displacement towards the source. And here this D, they are having zero displacement. So this B also is having zero displacement. So now what is happening at B is, so at B, particles are from C are coming like this and particles from A are, A are also coming like this. So at B, we have particles coming like this. So this B should be the center of the compression here because this region is compression and B is the center of that compression. If I go through this D, then this D will be, let's say this is a point uh, uh, D here, particles are going away from it. And here also, let us say we'll have some E here, E here, they'll be going away from here. So D will be the center of the rarefaction. So B is the center of compression and D will be the center of rarefaction. So, as the question says here, uh, which point on the graph is the set of compression? So, it should be point B. So, choice number B should be the correct answer. So, it's a pretty uh, tricky question uh, and it is slightly difficult to visualize, but still, with uh, proper instructions and proper thinking, we can do that. Getting choice B as the correct answer.